right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off, he has the ability to go in there and damage his opponent. He feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye. Left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that Muay Thai punch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hip back, he will shift you. Right. Kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit, and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. All right, so here's the oncoming force, Johnny Walker, certainly a guy who can take this torch in Brazil and run with it. He has become a massive star over there, and all indications are he's just getting started. The whiskey drinkers love the name, <laughs> but they fall in love with the fighter. Johnny Walker is a fantastic competitor, a guy that can knock you out and finish you in no time. He goes at his opponent with this recklessness, and he goes in a way that shows no respect to whoever he is fighting, and it shows in the way and in the time that he's spent since he's made his UFC debut. And he is every bit 6'6", six, six, and one oh, of the few guys so that can actually match John Jones's length in this light heavyweight division. Size matters. Johnny Walker has size and then some. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Axe Murderer, Wanderlei Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he told you off the top he has a reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Look at the turnover in that kick. Next with the right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another shot lands upstairs. Wow! News hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. He blocks the punch. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one, might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, effective strike there by Vanderlei Silva. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. He got him. Oh! Ooh, diving punch, man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet.
minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Takes her through, man. He's got him right here. He's done. He's done. Oh! Silva goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stopped. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. It's such a fast lift. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. She just misses there with the left. Oh, nice right hand. Big kick land. Silva gets the tie clinch here. Oh! Goes down again! Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Gets up again here, but hurting. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh! He's out! Tolerant! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. You're playing the winner by knockout, the X murderer of the Silva. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, you did exactly that. Congratulations. I'm going to purchase some things that I know when I feel my needs. Have a dose of what I've achieved and get on some in my critique. Who I am and what I believe make up standards too high to reach. I'm trained animal. I'm police. I'm in panic. But yet, relieve. Watch your hammock.